Okay, this is the last part for conic sections, uh, which is hyperbola. So we will see this uh, four subtopics uh, for hyperbola the definition equation of hyperbola and how to determine the center and foci by completing the square and as well as the parametric equation of hyperbola okay for the definition uh, so uh, before that this is the shape or how the hyperbola looks like Okay, a hyperbola is the set of all points in the plan, the sum of whose distances from two fixed points in the plan is a constant. The two fixed points are called foci. Okay, so these are the two fixed points. Okay, uh, F1, uh, sorry, F1 and F2, foci. And you have V1 and V2 which is the vertices and you have the center over here. What you can see over here is quite similar to parabola actually. If you can see only the half part of this diagram. Okay, this is actually a hyperbola. Oh, so I'm sorry, this is actually a parabola. Uh, so um, hyperbola, what we can say that hyperbola is a pair of parabola uh, dia satu set ataupun pasangan satu pasang parabola tu kalau parabola kita ada satu satu macam ni saja but for hyperbola you have a set of it okey ada a pair of it uh, satu sebelah kiri satu sebelah kanan and the center is here okey and you have few more lines uh, which you don't have in ellipse and parabola but for hyperbola you have extra this is the you have like x line over here okay the diagonal line so we will see what we will call these lines okay the figure show a hyperbola with two foci f1 and f2 over here and over here and a point p on the hyperbola so you have another point here from definition p f1 minus p f2 is a constant and then the midpoint of segment f1 and f2 uh, f1 and f2 midpoint titik tengah untuk f1 ke f2 which is we call as center uh, and point V1, V2 are vertices, macam biasa ada vertices V dekat sini. Segment V1, V2 we call as transverse axis. Okay, ada new uh, term dekat sini, transverse axis. Yang mana transverse axis adalah from here to here, V1 to V2 or V2 to V1 lah. Okay, transverse axis ni in ellipse uh, is what we call as major axis. Uh, yang ni lah, major axis dia. But in here, in para hyperbola, we call it as transverse axis. And we have ma minor axis as well, W1 and W2. You see over here, W1 and W2, which is a bit shorter than V1 to V2. So this is actually uh, minor axis. But for hyperbola, we don't call it as minor axis. We call it as conjugate axis. Uh, Okay, so the line A1 and A2 are asymptotes of the hyperbola. So this, the line, the diagonal line over here or the X line dekat sini, you ada A1 and satu lagi yang sebelah sini, A2. So these lines is what we call as uh, asymptote. Okay, asymptotes. And you also have L1 to L, uh, L1 to L prime, L2 to L2 prime. Ni ke sini and the other one is this one. So, kalau yang macam ni, kita panggil sebagai lattice rectum. Sama juga macam dekat ellipse. Okay. Okay, now uh, we will discover the a few equations of a hyperbola. There are four cases of four situations. First, when you have a hyperbola with center 0, 0 and the foci plus or minus c zero meaning that the one that is changing is um, x axis ha, yang berubah tu adalah koordinat x x and then the second one still the center zero zero but then the coordinate yang berubah adalah paksi y and the third cases uh, is the when you have center hk and the foci is h plus plus or minus c so this one when you shifted uh, 
a few H and K units. Of course, the foci as well will be uh, unit 2 plus or minus C. And this is the fourth guess. Okay. So let's see the first one. When you have a hyperbola with center 0, 0 and foci plus or minus C, uh, comma 0. This hyperbola has it foci on the x axis. Uh, kenapa dia cakap? Hyperbola ni, uh, kalau kita lukiskan dia berada di x axis sebab you detect yang berubah tu adalah x coordinate dekat sini, x axis. Eh? So, you terus tahu this one is your center which is 0, 0 and then kalau you have this one, U-shape ni, yang dekat sini, bucu ni what we call as vertices. So, you label as V1 and V2 lah. So, your uh, foci will be dekat sini, dekat luar ni. So, you have F1 and F2. So, jarak daripada center ni to the foci is what we call as C. C kecil. Small letter C. That is C. That is the one you need to plus or minus to find the coordinate of your foci. Okay? Okay, so we can summarize the properties of the hyperbola when you have this case, center 0, 0, dan yang berubahnya adalah koordinat paksi X. So, we, uh, this is uh, the formula for hyperbola. The one that you you can see that this is quite similar with ellipse, it's just that the operation here is different. For ellipse, you will have plus, but for Hyperbola, you will have minus. That is the only difference. The rest is the same. X square over A square minus Y square over B square equal to 1. So, this one is when uh, A must be greater than 0 and as well as B must be greater than 0. Yang denominator ni mesti positif lah. Okay, so you have vertices plus or minus A, 0. Sebab uh, bila you lukis, this one is your center, right? 0, 0. So, you will have your Vertices over here and vertices over here. Daripada center ni ke vertices ni adalah jarak dia adalah A. Daripada uh, center ni ke foci jarak dia adalah C. Uh, so that's why dia vertices dia tambah atau tolak A. Kalau tambah tu dia bergerak ke sebelah kanan while uh, tolak minus meaning that you shifted it to uh, to the left. Okay. Okay, for the transverse axis, transverse axis, remember, uh, this is what we call as um, major axis lah, kalau dalam ellipse. So, your major axis will be from here until here, V1 to V2. So, uh, it is actually dua kali A lah. And conjugate axis yang pendek sikit, this, which is this one, B, sini lagi B, so dua kali B. And asymptote is equal to this one. This one, the diagonal ni. So, asymptote ni, uh, dia mesti lalu potong yang ni lah. Dia punya center ni kan. So, you will have like y equal to plus or minus b over a x. This is the fixed formula. Okay. Yang menurun macam ni, dia punya line tu will be minus lah, negative. Yang increasing like this will be positive. And the foci, you need to find the coordinate for C. How do you find C? Is using this formula. When you already obtain your A and B, of course, you can find your C. And as well as your foci. And the lattice rectum punya formula pun sama. 2B square over A. Okay, yang pendek tu, square kan dia. Because this one is dia yang pendek kan, B over A. 2B square over A. So, this is the fixed formula, okay? For this kind of uh, hyperbola on the x axis and with the center 0, 0. Okay, so this is the larger view lah. So you will have lattice rectum over here. Okay, this is the lattice rectum. This is the what we call the asymptotes. Asymptotes tu dia mesti sepasang lah ada dua. Satu yang positif, satu yang negatif. Again, uh, second case is equation of hyperbola with center 0, 0, but you have this foci. Uh, so, you can detect that the one that is changing is your y exists. Yang berubah tu di paksi y. So, terus, automatically you can imagine your diagram or your hyperbola will be on the y axis lah, macam ni, vertically. Okay, menegak. 
Okay, so you can draw like this. So you have your center over here. Nanti you boleh lah sketch you punya this one. Apa? Uh, asymptotes. Asymptotes tu dia mesti sepasang ya. Asymptote cannot be only one line. It has to be a pair of line. Ada sepasang. Satu kiri, satu kanan. So the formula for the asymptotes. Uh, so this one lah. Negative, uh, satu. B o, negative B over A. Satu lagi B over A. X. Okay. So the formula. Uh, the equation is this one. Nampak tidak apa yang berubah dekat situ. Uh, y tu dekat depan dah. Kalau yang tadi. The formula macam ni. X square over A square minus this one. Okay. Ke, uh, kita tengok dekat depan ni sebutan X. Maksudnya you punya graph tu dalam uh, dipaksi X lah. But for this one, as you can see, uh, equation tu dah berubah. Yang dekat depan tu adalah Y. Meaning that your graph will be, your hyperbola will be on the Y axis. Macam ni lah Y square. Maksudnya Y tu lagi besar daripada A. That's why they put it at the front. Okay. So you will have transverse axis. Uh, so yang ini kan dia akan berubah ikut the situation of your uh, hyperbola lah. So kalau tadi transverse axis tu dua kali A. But now you tengok kepada you punya case. You punya transverse axis adalah dekat sini kan. So yang ni adalah jarak ni ke sini adalah B. Okay, and another one dari sini ke sini adalah B. That's why you have 2B. Yeah. And untuk A, conjugate exists, this is conjugate exists. Ini adalah A. This one lagi ke sini, A. This is your center. Okay, this one is your center. Your center, eh. So, daripada sini ke sini is B. Sini ke sini is A. Okay. This one is A. So, kalau dia minta conjugate exist, meaning dua kali A. So, you have two A over here. And asymptotes, uh, the fixed formula for asymptotes like this one, negative B over A, X, yang ini tidak berubah. Satu plus, satu minus. And the foci, uh, foci you need to plus or minus C lah. But how to find C using this formula. Okay. And also the lattice rectum. So, this is the larger version. Uh, larger version sorry. Let's see the example. Find the foci, vertices and asymptotes of the following hyperbola and sketch the graph. Okay. Find also the lengths of the right sectum. So, bila kita tengok ni, dia punya equation, uh, you can automatically detect that this is actually uh, the hyperbola will be on the x-axis. Um, horizontal. Kenapa? Sebab sebutan x tu dekat depan. Uh, so you have like, uh, okay, sorry. So you have like this. You identify this is your A, this is your B, and this is your A square. I'm sorry, this is your B square. So you, need, you find your A equal to three, B equal to four, yeah. Okay, then from there you can obtain your C lah. Guna this formula. Okay, from there, the center is 0, 0. Jadi, vertices tu, vertices meaning you kena tam plus or minus A kan? Vertices, this one is A. For vertices meaning you have to plus or minus A0. For foci, plus or minus C0. Yang berubah tu koordinat paksi X. So, masukkanlah. What is your C? 1, negative 5, 1, 5. Masukkan juga you punya A. Vertices tu A tadi. Which is 3. Okay. So, from here, you boleh obtain you punya asymptotes. Asymptotes is Y equal to plus or minus B over A X kan? 
B over A, X. So, ganti masuklah whatever the value you have. And for the lattice rectum, this is the fixed formula. 2B square over A. Then you get this one. So, now you can sketch your graph. Kita dah tahu tadi, kita kata since ni sebutan dia dekat X dekat depan, meaning that you punya hyperbola will be on X axis. Satu sebelah sini, ada ada one sebelah sini. So, this is your center. Ni center you eh. This is your V. Uh, so, jarak dari sini ke sini. Oops, sorry. So, jarak dari sini ke sini equal to 3. This is A lah. Yeah? Which is your A. Okay. Uh, then, you have from here to here. This is C. C, small letter C. And this is your asymptotes. Uh, and asymptotes, usually kita lukis uh, buat garisan putus-putus macam ni. Okay. Dotted line. And also this is your lattice rectum over here. Okay. And that's it. Okay, now the, the third case, when you have a uh, hyperbola, uh, but this time the center is HK, and for the foci also, you need to plus or minus C, lah, like this one. So, we will have a new formula, a new equation, just like um, ellipse, it's just that this one is minus. Uh, tengok yang ini, minus. So, kalau bentuk macam ni, you tengok yang ni, uh, X tu sebutan X dekat depan. Uh, so, maksudnya, kod, koordinat paksi X yang berubah dan juga your graph will be at the X axis. Macam ni lah graph dia. Okay. So, HK. This is your center, HK. And this is your V. This is your V over here. Okay. V. V2. This is V1. So, so for chi, uh, you obtain lah. You punya masing-masing kan. Sama juga macam lebih kurang macam ellipse. Dia ada tambah uh, H kalau vertices dekat sini. Kena tambah lah H2 plus or minus A. Kalau for chi, H plus or minus C. Okay, sebab you dah shifted. Dia bukan zero dah dekat sini. Dan juga dia punya asymptote dekat sini. Kalau tadi kita ada asymptote yang original, y equal to plus or minus b over x kan? b over a, x. This is the original one. But then, ah, hodohnya lah kan? Yang ni. Okay. Uh, this is the original one, y equal to plus or minus b over a x. And when you have uh, center h and k, of course, this thing will uh, will change. Okay, y you have to minus by k and x you also have to minus by h. Follow the equation over here. So this is the larger version. This one is your center. From here to here. This is V. This is A unit, the length. That's why you need to H plus A. Okay, from here to here, the length is C. That's why you need to H plus C. Macam tu lah. So, this is the asymptotes, the two asymptotes. And the last cases will be uh, the same H center H and K, but this time yang berubahnya adalah koordinat paksi Y, like this. Okay? And you see that the Y, since Y is uh, the one that is changing, so your graph will be, your hyperbola will be on the Y axis, and of course your equation, the Y term will be at the front. Macam ni. So you have this kind of graph. So sama jugalah formulanya. Uh, cuma ada extra dekat sini lah y minus k uh, over b square dia kena dia fix eh b tu always di bawah y a tu always di bawah x sama juga untuk ellipse uh, dia tidak boleh 
uh, cross macam ni x x di bawahnya b y di bawahnya a tidak dia dah fix dah a ni mesti bawa x b di bawah y same goes to the ellipse Okay, so ini sama jugalah formula yang tadi. Cuma yang akan berubah, of course yang akan berubah adalah dia punya lattice rectum ni akan berubah and then transverse axis akan berubah, quadrate axis akan berubah sebab yang ni kan kita ikut dia menegak. So, the transverse axis sekarang adalah 2 kali P. Kalau major axis adalah yang ini. 2 kali A. Horizontal line. Let's see the example. Sketch the graph of hyperbola. So you have like this. Uh, from here and showing the vertices and the foci and the asymptotes. Okay, meaning you need to sketch lah after you obtain your foci, vertices and uh, whatsoever. Okay, so y plus 2 square. Minus x minus 1 square. So, kita refer balik your punya equation just now. You, so, you know that this is negative 2 is actually your k. Negative 2 is your k. 1 is your h. Eh? 1 is your h. And then, this one is b square. This one is a square. Okay. So, you already found your a, b and c. Uh, c ni guna formula lah. And the center will be 1, negative 2. 1 H, 1 K. So, daripada center, uh, daripada H, K, A, B, C, semua ni, you dah boleh obtain you punya vertices. Dan, memandangkan yang ini, uh, kita dah detect Y tu dekat depan. Maksudnya, graf hyperbola tu akan berada pada coordinate Y. Pada paksi Y, sorry. Meaning that, yang berubah tu adalah coordinate Y lah, koordinat paksi Y ni. Ini yang berubah. H2 remain the same. 1 plus 1 minus. Sama juga untuk foci. Okay. If you can understand uh, ellipse, uh, 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 there will be no problem for you to obtain this uh, vertices as well as the foci. Because the concept is uh, quite the same. It's just that the formula is different quite different because of the plus 1 ellipse is plus and hyperbola is minus. So this is the formula for the asymptote. Kita follow formula yang tadi since this one ada k kan? Ada h and k. So y minus k, x minus h plus or minus b over a. So you get these two lah. Satu yang uh, increasing macam ni, satu lagi yang decrease macam ni lah. Yeah. So this is your center this is your center and this is your vertices. The other one is your foci. Now, don't forget to label uh, whatever you have found from your calculation. You need to label it on your uh, diagram or on your, on your hyperbola. Okay, next. You need to determine uh, the center and foci by completing the square. So, it, this one is also quite similar with um, ellipse before okay uh, when you have this longer equation you need to reduce you need to deduce uh, dia macam jadi macam ni uh, okay simplify dia jadi macam ni lah so macam mana dari bentuk yang ini kita kena ubah dia jadi bentuk yang atas ni is by completing the square uh, so daripada yang ini panjang-panjang ni you kum kumpulkan compile one that you group kan yang x, x, y and y. Okay. So you have like this. Dah kumpulkan. So you perform lah uh, what we call it completing the square. So this one is your b kan. So kalau completing the square yang b tu kena divide by 2 and then square dia. So x minus 4 square minus 16 and then uh, Minus 16 this one. Y plus 1. Kenapa jadi 1? Sebab 2 divide by 2. That's why you get 1 over here. Okay. Uh, kalau rasa uh, dah lupa uh, completing this square, you may um, study balik, revise balik your chapter 2 quadratic equation. Okay. So, 
So you have like this and this one is still negative 16. And then bila you dah solve for this one, you will get like this kan? You dah expand, expand dia, buka-buka kurungan semua tu. Uh, at last, you will get like this. Uh, so, sama juga, we want the right hand side to be equal to 1. Jadi macam mana kita nak samakan dia dengan 1, you divide it with 1, 4, 4. So the whole equations, both and both left and right, you divide it by 1, 4, 4. So 9 over 1, 4, 4, uh, minus 16 over 1, 4, 4. Yeah, so you will get like this. Uh, so ini kita dah samalah dapat, dah dapat dalam bentuk macam ni. Okay. Uh, so this is the equation of hyperbola with the transverse axis horizontal. Okay. So kita divide the 1, 4, 4. Jadi kita tahu kita punya hyperbola ni berada di paksi X. Di X axis. Sebab sebutan X tu dekat depan. Then we will have transverse axis. Transverse axis tu maksudnya yang uh, yang panjang lah. Yang major axis dia dekat horizontal. Itulah maksud dia yang ni. Okay. So I think uh, we have finished the hyperbola. All the three uh, sec uh, section, uh, parabola, ellipse, and also hyperbola. And all the examples or the, all the diagram from these videos, I've taken it from uh, uh, this reference, as my uh, mind at all. This is the books that I have referred, okay? And also this one, the word Calculus Thompson book. Okay, that's all about uh, chapter 6. I hope you can try it on your own. Thank you.